Hey guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool lock screen that just came out. It's called Picturesque Lock Screen, and it's from Microsoft. Yes, Microsoft. That's why you see the Bing uh, logo right there, and it's very, very cool. I gotta say, I really do like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I really do like it. And I'm just gonna show you guys some of the features that you're gonna see in this lock screen. Uh, first of all, picturesque it's called picturesque because you're gonna see it's very heavy with pictures and pictures are i think they're being pulled to the app or brought to the apps you know thanks to bing uh one cool thing that this has is that you go like this you shake you shake your phone and you could change the lock screen wallpaper very cool that's a very cool feature there um another thing that you have here is icons which is awesome i uh, like having shortcuts like you see how there look how fast that opened up that was very cool uh let's go ahead and close it again of course these shortcuts right here you could go ahead and customize it and put whatever app you want there um here you got the date and time over here you got the weather and over here you got the charging of the of your phone um here if you tap right there you get some information based on the picture that you see back as a wallpaper like you see there you could tap right there and it shows you the description of the picture uh, one cool thing that it has is that when you slide to the right and uh, right here you can enjoy the full screen of the picture um, you can also from right here download the picture to your phone when you tap right there it'll download the picture to your phone or you could click here and delete um, right here if, as you keep on swiping you're gonna be able to go through all the pictures and for example if you want to stay on one picture you could go ahead and leave it uh, leave it there for example I could go ahead and leave it there and that would be the lock screen but uh, of course you can shake the phone and it'll change again and over here you also have the camera button if you tap it once it's not gonna launch it but you tap it twice and there you go it launches the camera right away not bad I like the fact that you have to tap it twice for it to activate that's a very cool feature uh, over here Another cool feature that this app has that uh, makes it different from other apps is it has a news section. Uh, right here, you can see top news, entertainment. Uh, you can go to sci and tech, science and tech, and sports. But of course, that you can also customize as well, and I'll show you guys how. Uh, you can easily tap on one of the, of the news. If I want to tap on this news right here, Boom. it will automatically open like a Bing browser right there but you can also set it up in the settings for it to open your browser preference whatever our browser you want if I tap right here it will automatically open the browser that you use for example I use um, the Chrome browser so it opened the Chrome browser awesome and slide again and now you have the settings section uh, right here you have the option to um, control the brightness auto brightness like you see there that's cool over here it also has a flashlight not bad look at that it has a flashlight right there and of course it has sound you can turn it off and on whatever um, Bluetooth and of course the the wireless Wi-Fi here are you know recommendation for other Microsoft apps of course they have to do that they have to push their own products um, over here set Bing image as wallpaper if you hit that it, it will set like you see there if you hit that it'll set the image that you have right now set there in your normal phone that's a cool feature too but if you want to go to the settings like I said once you're here once you're here, you go go ahead, go and swipe all the way to the end. Click right here in the first spot, and now you have the settings. Let me go ahead and put this thing a little bit less brighter. There you go. Now it looks better. Uh, right here, you could go ahead and turn on in on this app. Make sure you leave it on if you're planning to use this lock screen. Make sure you also. Uh, deactivate any other lock screen you've been using. Uh, favorite apps. If you want the shortcuts make sure you set that on if you leave it off 
you're not gonna see no shortcuts so make sure to leave that on weather info if you want the weather info leave it on notifications it will also show you notifications from e, uh, text messages as well so that's a very cool feature as well uh, news if you don't want the news section let's go ahead back again to the lock screen like you see there if you click no you're not gonna see the news section but I actually like it let's go ahead and leave it there uh, right here when you select news you're gonna be, have the option to choose what news uh, make sure you go here because at first every single one of them is gonna be selected I just selected the ones that I care the most top stories entertainment science tech science and tech and sports but you got other options as well um, make sure okay it's refreshing right there let's go ahead back to the lock screen okay every time you change something is gonna refresh so keep that in mind uh, news open link in external browser if you don't like the bring the Bing browser right now we set that up that's gonna refresh once you tap on a news right let's go ahead and click here a news right here I'm gonna click right there boom it's gonna open the default browser that you use on your phone that's a cool feature as well that's very cool uh, let's go back over here let's go ahead turn this off if you want download images on only on Wi-Fi you can do that as well uh, favorite shortcuts this is where you're gonna go ahead and customize the shortcuts here in the bottom you click right there and it's gonna generate all the apps like you see there it's gonna show you all the apps that you won't have and of course right here you can see as you keep on putting apps you only can put up to five and it'll, you'll see it right there so here news topic like I said if you go there you're gonna be able to change from science business politics and all that uh, here you got the refresh rate uh, this is the refresh rate for news news refresh I right now I put it for every 30 minutes but you could go ahead and change it to every hour, six hours, five minutes, whatever you want. And that's it. That's basically all the settings you can uh, tweak here with this lock screen. And it's very cool if you want to unlock your phone. Or you're going to go swipe up and it will unlock the phone like you saw there. And that's it. Like I say, if you tap right there, it should search uh, whatever, say cars. Go ahead and search. It should bring up whatever search and it's using of course it's using Bing if you click right there it's gonna take you to the Chrome browser or whatever browser you use if you use Dolphin browser it'll take you to the Dolphin browser and it's very cool I think they did an awesome job with this lock screen and I've been using it all day and I'm I'm gonna keep on using it as uh, you know I couldn't keep on using it I like this feature right here which is awesome and um, I think they did a great job and it's totally free so you could go ahead and try it on your Android phone this is on the Galaxy Note 4 and it works very good so you might have different experience depending on what phone you have so guys that's it this was a look at Microsoft picturesque lock screen for Android devices which is totally free and I'll leave a link in my descriptions that way you could go ahead and try it out till next time guys